All right, almost time to go. Good morning. Happy Wednesday from New York City. Let's get some music on to uh, celebrate this uh, this uh, new day here. It is blustery in New York City. There's wind. Uh, there's, uh, the sky looks blue. It's not a bright blue. There's a little bit of haze, but the greens, the green uh, leaves on the trees are are. Uh, the leaves on the trees are bright green. <laughs> I'm Hypertex here. Welcome to Hyperspace. Feeling quite energized after the Flying Fabio's uh, stream uh, raid yesterday on the stream. It was quite uh, an experience to 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 get raided. A bunch of, have a bunch of people come and watch you try and land in, in bad weather. I'm so surprised that it wasn't a disaster. And uh, here we are for another day of. Uh, Oh, look at this. Like, I have to get this thing moved over. There's, there's a lot of uh, things happening at once here. But uh, one, one step at a time. Okay, that looks a little weird down here. We're going to have to leave it like that for now. Because of uh, I'm going to have to go and change some of these uh, streaming. Uh, um, I, might, I might as well do it now while I'm here live. Why not? I'm going to have to change some of these streaming... Uh, stream elements labels because I'm having some trouble with the with the latest raid label for some reason it shows no data so I'm gonna have to modify that but uh, you know it's a work in progress these labels all this stream stuff it's always a work in progress and uh, and I'm just glad to be here and uh, to be learning and doing this and and having uh, people to come in and help me both uh, viewers and uh, through the Discord and through other Discords that I've been uh, talking to people about all sorts of uh, video game related uh, paraphernalia, digital paraphernalia. All right, okay, let's take a look here at, let me try to fix really quickly this little thing in the bottom here. But maybe I could leave it right, it's, not, let's, let's put a little bit back, let's, let's not be lazy here. Let's give a little bit more space to Galaxia Cat and Foxy Ginger Pen. Galaxia Cat coming in a five sub gifts yesterday. I'm looking at putting some uh, top gifters label here. Um, but right now I'm, I'm the top gifter because I've given like eight away and I don't want to just, you know, say oh, I'm winning. So I, I haven't turned that on yet. And uh, it's, a, it's a learning pro, it's a continuous learning experience, just like live, this uh, stream stuff. So uh, I've, this is the second service I'm trying, Stream Elements. I, I was on Streamlabs before. I got a little bit tired of uh, them, you know, hiding a, a lot of the functionality and, and pushing me to, to pay the, the, the monthly fee. I've, I've, I'm enjoying Stream Elements more. They don't, uh, they don't uh, push, they're not, they don't push the sale on you so much. And, uh, and I, I enjoy that. I'm enjoying that more. So let's move this uh, gift sub from Galaxia a little bit to the left here. And uh, we'll, we'll also move the follow a little bit to the left. And I'm gonna click save, and then that should update. There you go, that's updated. And now I can move uh, this little background over here as well. And uh, maybe I'll just leave it all the way against that. Can we do it like that? Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, maybe, maybe just take it all the way there. A little bit lower, maybe even. Yeah, a continuous, uh, a continuous experiment here, a continuous uh, learning experience. I'm going to keep going with Microsoft Flight Simulator, starting from when I ended yesterday in this Barra Beach airfield. I have my pretty uh, BN2 Islander here with us. And um, we're going to do so be delivering some pizza, uh, shuttling some medics around. And learning more of this uh, autopilot thing potentially maybe not as necessary today I do see some some clouds there in the distance look at that there's some weather coming in there then I'm just also finishing to write something but I'm not I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for later the comment um, on uh, storm birds blog because uh, I'm uh, I'm going to in the afternoon stream I think I'm gonna play some altitude storm epic I'm going to go over to um, try one of the, the, one of these new uh, I think it's a P vs P server I usually prefer P vs P vs E but I think it also has eyes so it's P vs P vs E uh, it's called uh, clash 
Warbirds Clash of Eagles, which is uh, apparently a new server Microsoft Flights uh, in uh, I2 Smurfic that kind of brings back the gameplay from uh, Warbirds, which is the first on, I think, possibly the first, uh, I think it was the first online multiplayer flight simulator I ever played. Warbirds back in 1995, right before I went to university. I, uh, I, I was playing that game on a 56... K okay, fixed 56 bold mo modem <laughs> the early days of flight simulators and uh, and I'm excited and basically the game mode was that you had to each team had one airfield and you had to try to take over the other team's airfield and they're trying to duplicate that uh, that gameplay so we're gonna see how that goes but uh, that's later right now we're in simulator world we're in neofly world let me pick a mission here Let's uh, let's take a look at what we have available here around Barra. I'm gonna do some short hops, perhaps. How about we start with uh, taking some pizza out to the sea here? Apparently, there's someone out of the sea who needs some pizza. Uh, it's not too far away, and uh, it is. Uh, potentially towards those clouds there so let's try that one I'm gonna right click I'm gonna go fly uh, I'm gonna click connect and fly current pelo Jew on Ooh, this music is getting a bit loud here let's uh, turn it down a little we are at uh, 240 we need 1535 on the payload let's uh, get that set up Hey, SJ Fly 2. Good morning. How are you? Good morning from New York. I'm not sure what time it is where you are, but uh, I'm wishing you a good day. A good day to you. What did I say we needed? We need a 1245, I think, according to New Fly. One, payload 1535. So uh, let's put in a uh, thousand pounds of badge on the pizza here. A lot, a lot of pizza they're going to be delivered here. 200, uh, 300, 1535 to 095. Wait on the parking until a weird guy there you go. Board. Okay, wait on the parking until a weird guy comes on board. Here it comes, uh, you know, we need this weird guy. I guess it's a, I don't know, must be a, you know, magic pizza delivery. I guess it's usually a weird guy. I don't know. <laughs> While we're waiting for this weird guy to board the airplane. Let's uh, start uh, start up here, okay? All right, uh, mixture is at full. Let's put the propeller RPM up as well. Uh, let's turn on the generators. Um, left fuel pump and left fuel valve are both on. Uh, the right fuel valve and the right fuel pump on as well. Uh, let's turn on the battery. And I'll check uh, the amateur. All right, we're green over there. That's good. And um, see, so yeah, the cool thing in this plane, you can also open all the doors if you want to. Okay, let's open all the doors and see what it looks like from the from the outside view. Uh, doesn't have the sounds yet on these switches. That's coming end of this month, hopefully. And there we are. We have open doors on this airplane. Look at that. They modeled like even the little baggage thing here, so that's maybe where our pizza is gonna be. But I don't think so because this weird guy's coming in here. Oh look, it's actually it's inside the in the inside the cabin. Um, so I guess this weird guy's gonna come in, and he's gonna pack some magic pizza all the way back there. You can see the baggage over there. It's one compartment. And as soon as we turn our engine on, uh, he'll probably come in. But for now, let's just close all the doors. And uh, let's uh, we'll turn on the taxi lights. We'll turn on the nav lights. Uh, we'll, t we'll leave them on post because I like that. We'll turn on the beacon lights. Cabin lights, all right. And I think we're good to go. We just have to put on the magnetos for both the port engine and the starboard engine and uh, start her up. All right. Hopefully the sound levels are at a decent. Uh, decent place right now. I did a test earlier. It seemed okay, but 
with the, with the BN2 is a little uh, with the BN2 it can be a little uh, with the current sound engine it's it's not using a wise sound uh, it can be a little loud from the outside too loud from the outside Whoa! and Shiva coming in with the subscription here at tier one thank you so much a seven month streak currently I'm a four month streak for seven months thanks so much Shiva good morning <laughs> magic pizza. Was that okay. super loud? Oh, that that that, that uh, subscription thing. Let's go. I'm trying to get those sound levels uh, with stream elements down to a manageable level. I can't Transporter. seem to control it from uh, Transporter from, from OBS yet. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi Thanks for the sub, Shippo. You rock, man. Uh, copy that. Dispatch uh, the weird guy of the pizzas here. I'm gonna take off momentarily. Over Hypertext Hero One. <laughs> My white balance is all off today. Uh, wow. Okay, I, I look a little weird, but okay. Uh, I'll, it's okay. I have a, a weird guy with a pizza here too, or or a girl. But uh, they say it's guy. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Um, okay, so we're gonna. Oh, I forgot to turn on the avionics. That could help. Uh, let's turn them on over here. There you go. We're gonna take a bearing of. Um, let's open up Neopad and take a look. Let's take a look. Uh, 339er. There you go. Bearing a 339. I'm going to go deliver some pizza. It's to some yacht, I guess, off the northwest Scottish coast. I don't know about sound. I have you on speakers, but headset is better. I just have simple speakers for PC. Copy that, Shiba. That's... As long as it's not, like, blowing up your living room or something. Because for me, it, it, was, it sounds really loud, the sub sound right now, and I'm trying to balance that out. Um, it's a constant sound thing when you, when you play a lot of different games. You know, one game you got the sound levels right, but then you change to another, then you have to fiddle with it, and then you go back to the one before, and then you have to fiddle a little with it again, so it's, uh, it's a constant thing. That's alright, I just tried to do a test before every stream. It seemed okay, but I didn't do the test for a sub, because I didn't expect to come with a sub straight up here. <laughs> Thanks so much. Now, nah, there's only one person blowing up the living room, and their neighbor, and their neighbor is here. <laughs> okay. All right, we're 20 nautical miles away from this pizza delivery location. It's out in the sea somewhere, so it must be a yacht, you know, maybe some uh, Iceland, I tourists from Iceland coming in, partying up, and it's like, hey, we need some magic pizza, let's go hyper. He's over at Barra Beach, he has this BN2 Islander, he'll, he'll parachute some magic pizza for us over here. All right, 339er, three, three, uh, let's talk to the tower and let's tell him, hey, we're going to uh, take off here, okay. Uh, we're gonna depart uh, straight out. Ground hypertext hero one request taxi for takeoff departing straight out. Hypertext hero one taxi to enroll short of runway two five using taxiway oh, cross, cross runway two nine er. Contact tower Whoa. on one one eight decimal zero eight when ready. Whoa, okay now now we all that, that was so weird because Microsoft Flight Simulator the sound level was all the way to the top and then I just moved it a little bit to adjust it and then it shot up. So oh, that's just a PC thing. Okay, now it's went to zero, but let's leave it around there. See how it goes. OBS, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Maybe that'll help with the, with the other stuff. Okay, let's acknowledge the taxi clearance. That's nice that there's a tower here. Okay, like the runway here, it's a beach. Okay, so if they try to paint on, uh, if they try to paint on symbols and stuff, uh, it's not gonna work. It's going to, it's going to, when the tide comes up, it's just gonna disappear. All the work of the of those airport works gonna disappear. But a very nice little airport. Look at this. It's a small little place, but it is modeled. It is, there's a little tower. I think they came in here and they did uh, work here in the last world up in the UK world update. I think they came in here and they. And they put it together the way it kind of really looks like. Cause look at this. There's like uh, there's like some recycling boxes over there. There's a nice little uh, some sort of radio antenna here. I don't know if, uh, what this what type of radio that is. There's uh, there's little uh, little uh, garages over here. We got a couple of wind socks. You have one here, and you have one in. Uh, on the other side there, you have this little, looks like a mailbox. I don't know what that is. It's probably not a mailbox, probably something else. Maybe it's a tide, uh, maybe that's a tide measure to, to see how uh, how high the sea level is if it comes this high. So a very nice place. I, I like this. I like to have a, a, a beach for a, for a, there's the other windsock for a runway. Okay, the wind is coming from uh, that direction over there. 
So we're going to taxi all the way to that side. And the wind is coming from this direction over here. So we're going to taxi all the way to, to, to close to that windsock over there and then point the nose back this way. And then we're going to take off. Will the, temperature, will the temperatures be good there? Uh, it's northwest Scotland, so I suspect not. You know, this is called Barra Beach, but it's not a, almost certainly. I've never been here in real life, but almost certainly decidedly not. Baja da Tijuca like temperatures is probably cold as heck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Seems awesome to drink. <laughs> hey, you could come have a drink of fish and chips. Maybe that's a little cafe there. Let's take a look. Look, there's a little sign there even. I don't know what RVP stands for, but look, there, there's like a little, is this Baja Airport baggage reclaim? Look at this. Look at all this detail here. This is nice. I haven't installed any special airport thing. This is just the default Microsoft Flight Simulator, probably after the last, the big, uh, the, the World Update 3, I think it was the UK, that you added this. Welcome to Baja Airport. File to go port at her Bahrai. That's maybe like some sort of dialect of a, of a Scottish Celtic thing. Excellent. Look at that. Highlands and Islands airports. Most excellent. I like this place. Somewhere in a corner of the world. Maybe I'll visit it in real life one day. I liked Scotland. I've been once uh, when I was a kid with a couple of friends. Including this friend, uh, Jillian. She's running a website called... Uh, it just launched... Uh, early day still but uh, go check it out and it's a website about peaceful games it's called yin and uh, I may be involved in some way or another uh, mostly promoting it at some point in the future all right let's move let's get this plane moving I'm going to uh, turn on track IR center it I'm gonna look down here and I'm gonna uh, let's uh, Put on the, the flaps to take off position already. Let's close off that starter uh, thing so we don't hit it by mistake. And let's uh, turn off the parking brakes. We're gonna slide forward. Oh, look at that! Sliding forward. Because we were in a little uh, little incline there. So let's uh, let's give power here and then turn. Hopefully our wing won't clip that uh, this thing over here. We're good, we're good. All right. All right, we're good, we're good. Microsoft Flight Simulator is in there too. <laughs> it is, yeah, it's a peaceful game. Uh, it's, but you know what, what I, what I like about the site is that, uh, you know, she made this big list of, uh, of, of video games that are peaceful, but there's also video games that are not necessarily peaceful. You know, you have Skyrim in there, for example, that you can chop someone's head off with a sword in it, you know, but but you can play it in peaceful ways, you know, if you're a sneak around more. So I like that idea. I like the idea of uh, having video games that, that are not necessarily just peaceful, that, uh, that, uh, that can be quite violent, but you can find ways to pe play them peacefully. I really like those ideas. Uh, and, um, well, okay, a little bit uh, too much on the edge here, I think. All right, big windsock here. We are, look at that, and I, last iceberg taught me yesterday, each one of those lines, like the red or the white lines on the windsock is about five knots. So we are at, let's take a look, we're at one, five, ten, fifteen, about 20 knot wind here, more, probably 20, between 20 and 25 knots of wind here, it's very windy. We're gonna take off, and I think we're gonna go, if I think I said 235, is that right? 339, we're gonna take off and go to 339, that's gonna be about, uh, yeah, right here, north, uh, north, northwest, so right around uh, there. Uh, I'll put the heading bug on it already. Let's put the heading bug to 339 before we take off. I'm slowly learning to be a less of an amateur pilot here. All right, 339, so in case we need to turn on the autopilot and uh, and do some one, two jumps or play some guitar, we can do that. And um, let's go. All right, do I, I think I need to ask for... Taxi and hold short, okay. Tune the tower. 
What is it? only ground services? Uh, go back to clearance. Sometimes it gives me this. I, I don't know if this is a bug, but see, it, it's not telling me. It's not giving me the tower. Let me just request bush shack. And the pushback tug is so heavy, it'll probably sink in the beach here. Okay, go back to clearance. See, it doesn't give me anything else than ground services here. I don't know if this is a Microsoft Flight Simulator bug, but uh, I'm just gonna have to take off without permission. Hopefully, that'll be. They won't, you know, fire a surface to air missile on my aeroplane. Okay. Take off and go to 339. Where's the windsock? The windsock is there. We're pointing more or less the right direction. We're going. Go. Nice to have a big beach as a runway. Rotate. Have a nice fly and don't mess with this guy. Have a nice fly, don't mess with this guy. Hey, who is this? Uh, some sort of gangster? Well, uh, uh. Baja air traffic control, uh, I couldn't see the option in the. I, I was having a radio malfunction, I couldn't see the option to take off in the menu. My apologies, I'll be back soon, I'll buy a drink over. Alright, 339 er, right? Okay, see so we have we set the heading bug there. I, I, I'm glad I learned about that. So now I can just point the airplane at that little uh, heading, at that little orange thing, and we'll know we're going the right way. So I don't have to remember it, you know, because you have to remember a bunch of numbers, especially me. Uh, it, it's going to. Uh... Transporter, you are above the radar detection altitude. Get off as quickly as possible. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I'm doing pizza. Okay, pizza delivery. You have to stay below a certain altitude. Okay, you have to uh, look at those waves. You have to stay below a thousand feet, otherwise you get detected. Uh, the authorities come in. They're like, we haven't, uh, we haven't authorized Magic Pizza to be produced or delivered in this country yet. Therefore, uh, we're going to either we're going to force your aircraft down, and you're going to have to come and speak with the authorities. All right. Quite a bit of wind. Look at the. I can, I can feel the plane fly, uh, getting pushed a little bit uh, to the right. <laughs> Wonderful, I love the wind modeling in this. Give a little bit more uh, volume to the music here. And let's keep an eye on our airspeed, not go over to the yellow too far. Let's cross check with the uh, Neopad. Yep, we're going more or less the right way. I wonder if there'll be a boat there or if it's just gonna be, you know, the sea. Maybe they're in a submarine. Maybe there's some really there's some really wealthy tourists who like to, you know, have different types of experiences. So maybe one of these experiences was getting into maybe an old Soviet submarine that you pay to a lot of money to go and experience what it was like to be a submariner back in the Cold War and you have a party under the waves. Maybe you can spot a periscope out there. Uh, weather's pretty nice. Uh, I thought there was some big clouds building up close, but I think they passed us. I think there was that maybe that system over there earlier on. There's some big cumulus clouds over there, but uh, they're they're pretty far off, so I don't think we're gonna have a big problem. It won't be like yesterday trying to land in that field. And once we're done with Barra, I think I am going to switch countries here. We're probably going to. Um, I want to fly down to Brazil, to Barra da Tijuca, for a change. I want to go say hi to my brother, to say hi to my nephew, my niece, through the digital world of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And we're going to maybe go do some missions in around Rio de Janeiro. There are some fans of the stream here who drop by once in a while who are from Brazil. And uh, it's nice to, uh, it's nice to uh, go visit the places where the people who join us on chat here sometimes uh, really live in, really live in the real world. So we will probably, I don't think I'm gonna fly over there. I think this, I'll probably pay a, pay a flight ticket and then play, pay for a digital AI to, to fly my plane there immediately. Or, or as I often say, to beam the BN2 Islander up to the Starship Enterprise in orbit around planet Earth. 
and then uh, beam it uh, back down to, to South America. That, that's fast. Hey, Matrog, uh, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing a flight uh, here in Northwest Scotland. And uh, delivering some pizza over BN2 Islander, this pretty airplane over here. Very pretty aeroplane. Oh, awesome! Cool, yeah, I love this plane. Sound's gonna get much better in about a month. They're, they got a wise uh, engineer. You know, a wise person too, I'm sure, but a, a wise, W wise uh, sound engine engineer. So we're gonna have a better sound, but uh, it's already a lot of fun. I really, it's my favorite plane right now in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I think. Because it's a plane from my childhood that I flew in as a kid and I, India, Romeo, Lima, IRL in real life, one of the acronyms that I learned here in the last couple of years, you know, people spending so much time in these digital machines, in computers and, and, and lobbies and digital spaces that uh, we needed to, 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 to make up an acronym for in real life. You know? Congrats on buying the other two, one, two boss. Let's turn off those auxiliary. Oh no! Oh no! I failed. I, I, I'm not paying attention and the BN2 Lander likes to climb, okay. Is it gonna give me the... Alright, let's turn back. Wow. Okay. The last time this happened, I, I my plane crashed, but I think... I don't know if that was a bug, but it, I haven't crashed now, so... Let's just turn back to Barra. And we'll try again. If you want to join me, Matrug, uh, I am uh, taking off. Uh, it's in the stream description there. Echo Golf Papa Romeo. Wow, starting of a mission failure here. I, I keep forgetting. Hello, Mr. Brittis. <laughs> Good morning, Ice One Two Boss. Uh, Mission failure right in the beginning here. I got detected. My my shady guy here of the magic pizza is going to be all angry. Well, it's going to be arrested probably. I don't know. Is it not legalized in Scotland yet? Uh, uh, marijuana for per growing for personal use at least. I don't know what the situation over there. Here in the United States getting legalized left, right, center, Z, index, uh, up, down. Very popular. Uh, Did you have good dreams? Yeah, I, had, I slept well last night. It was a, it was a fun, uh, you know, it was a lot of energy from uh, the Flying Fabio stream. And the Flying, Flying Fabio's raid. Yeah, we'll be within about five, ten minutes. Copy, Matrog. All right, well, I'm heading back there because I just failed this pizza mission. If you have a Neofly, we could do it a joint mission if you want. I am flying a multiplayer. Uh, I don't have a multiplayer mission right now, but I could, I could turn on a multiplayer server if you want to join and do a mission together and share the bounty. Um... Nice lighting here right now. A lot of wind. Dreaming from the raid. Yeah, that was a great raid, man. Wow, what energy if the Flying Fabio comes back. I, I went uh, to thank him. I, well, I thanked him, and then also I went and I subscribed to his Patreon. So, uh, a great pleasure. A, a, a gentleman. And uh, a lot of energy. <laughs> I cannot believe I did not crash on that landing, okay? Oh, we have some, look at that pretty lighting over there. And we got some, some fans. Don't have Neo fly, but I'll fly along. All right. Yeah, well, as, as you prefer. Let's come along for the mission. Yeah, there's a bit of a side slip here going, huh? I can put a, I can, fi I can fix it of the rudder there, but uh, I, I love side slips. They're so, they're so, uh, it's one of the joys of flying airplanes. You know, it's like the way it moves in the air. With the wind, uh, it can be pointing one direction and flying in a different direction, a slightly different direction. A bit like flying with fly assist off an elite. All right, Barrow, where are you? Let's see.
You're just south of me. Let's keep flying over the coast and we'll get there. Use the slip. Yeah, yeah, I love. Yeah, you, you you go with the flow, right? You gotta go with the flow. You can't fly the flow. I think that's a good life lesson I was taught too. You know, uh, you have to realize the battles that you can win and the ones that you can't win, and you just uh, you pick the ones you can win and the other ones you you just uh, better not to fight them, unless you have no choice, of course. Predict negative. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. I forgot Sim Toolkit Pro. I'm all uh, discombobulated today. Let me turn it on. GPS and autopilot? Uh, no time to learn it after yesterday's raid. I had so much admin work afterwards because I, I, I go and I thank everyone. I give the follow backs and everything that I didn't. Uh, um, and to be honest, I prefer. I, I use autopilot. I, I really enjoy the basics of autopilot, but I prefer flying the plane manually whenever I can. Okay, now now it'll work, Shippa. Sorry about that. If you want to do the prediction again, it will come on now. Oh yeah, I, I'll try that. I prefer uh, if we do a long flight here. I'll, I'll try it out. Here, I'll show you something I learned. Uh, uh, iceberg. Look, at, let's say I let's say all of a sudden, I let's say you know I was here and this guy we got you know this guy got stopped with the magic pizza. We failed the mission because it went above one thousand feet. And let's say that we decided to just eat some slices of the magic pizza ourselves before we land, you know, since we're gonna get to have to talk to authorities anyway. We we're eating it all, and then I'm feeling a little woozy, and then all of a sudden, I, I boom! I, I hit my head, and I, and I hit my head here on the on the G, on the Garmin uh, GNS 530. I like, boom! And I, and I just hit my head. You know, I, I lost the uh, control of myself for a second. And when I hit my head on it, let's pretend that I, I pressed a bunch of different buttons, you know, and, I, and with my head. I pressed like that one, I pressed that one, I pressed a bunch of different buttons. I don't know what's going on. It's all over the place now, okay? This is what I learned yesterday with the manual. If you do something like that, you just click and hold on clear for two seconds. And then boom, you're back to the default. Isn't that a nice? You click and hold for two seconds, you know. I think I, I still think it's really terrible in user interface design in terms of for from Garmin. If it was me designing this, I would have just like in a web browser, I have a back button here, a home button. You click that and you go home. Who's gonna know that you have to press clear for two seconds? You know, it's. Um, I want a home button. Uh, one of the best user interface inventions of of all time is the back button and the home button. Where are we? We're off course. Okay, let's. We're getting. Dri we're drifting here. You catch my drift? <laughs> what a weird pilot. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Thanks for the guess. Uh, Iceberg coming in of a negative 65.77. And uh, Sheepa coming in of a negative 89. Thank you. For the landing rate leaderboard here. This is what we're doing. I'll put. Uh, I'll put. Uh, wow, strong win. Look at this win here. Look! Look at my look at my airspeed. My airspeed is climbing up. I have to. I'm gonna cut the throttle here. The wind with the airspeed is gonna. There you go. That's bar right there. There's our runway. Right there. We're gonna circle around and we're gonna land the other side. But let's talk to the ATC already because uh, they were mad that I didn't uh, talk to them before takeoff. But that's I think is a Microsoft flight simulator bug. Sometimes the ATC disappears. Okay, and I can't ask him for permission to take off. Why do you, there's a pronunciation of negative, sounds so negative. I'll try to make it sound more positive. Negative. No, I'm um, sorry. Positive, uh, clear to land runway 25, hypertext 01. Well, if you say negative in a positive, how do you say negative in a positive way? Maybe do it smiling. You smile and it'll change the enunciation of your voice. Negative. But that's a fake smile. I don't know. Every time I did something bad when predicting a negative. 
Oh, you mean like negative, uh, negative, okay, minus. How about minus? Is that better? That's what you're talking about. Minus 65.77. <laughs> negative. You know, the power of negative thought is, uh, you know, let's put the flaps down for landing. The power of negative thought is that, you know, you, you find out what's true by, by seeing everything that's false. But there's also pessimism and, you know, I've spent time with pessimistic people. It, it's not fun, so I try to be optimistic and, and sometimes it's a battle, you know. But, um, but I try to bring positivity and optimism. So if my, if my pronunciation of negative sounds negative, I apologize. I will try to make it sound more positive. I'll say minus instead or I'll say dash. Chipa coming in with a prediction of dash 89er and iceberg of a dash 65.77. What, what is the what do pilots actually say when they have to say minus sign? Do they say minus? Do they say negative? Do they say dash? Negative. Hey, that's an elite way to that's an elite hacker way to write it, uh, Chipa. <laughs> November 3, go 4, 7, 1, Victor 3. All right, here we go. I'm just going to do a short turn to final right here. Where's the windsock? There it is. Look at that 20 plus knot wind. I learned this from Iceberg yesterday. I might have to go around again. I think I think we're okay. There's plenty of space. Oh, that's a big, that's a horrible landing. Oh my god, this wind is so strong. Well, Shippa wins. 80, I almost destroyed the airplane here. My hole's gonna, and Neofly, Neofly uh, uh, catches this. My hole's gonna be messed up. I'm gonna have to pay for this. Oh my god, that was a bad landing. Yep, still intact. Well, I'm sure it's, it's not, it's not intact, okay, because, uh, that was that wind caught me off. I should have gone around. I, I had a feeling that it was a bad. Uh... I'm gonna have to repair the hole for sure. Yeah. Yeah. The sound wasn't bad, but uh, the the sound didn't sound bad. But that's because the sound of this uh, airplane has to get improved, and in about a month it will be apparently. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible landing. I apologize for that. See, this is a this this I find a bug here. Now I, I can only get ground services, and then it goes back to clearance. It doesn't give me any other option. Is that a bug? Because it doesn't. Maybe I have to turn the radio on and off or something. Let me turn on the uh, display capture and let's go. Let's go check out Neofly. Let's let's see what Neofly says happened to my plane here. Uh, let me pause track IR. My poor aircraft. All right, so hangar. Still says okay. Maybe I have to end the mission for it to... Uh... Oh, I have to go to park position. You're right. Thanks, Icebird. If it wasn't for Icebird, you know, I would never figure out how to fly an airplane, uh, a autopilot airplane, Neofly, all this stuff. But I think I had already failed the mission, so it doesn't even matter here. Let me let me just turn off the plane and start again here. Um, okay. Because uh, I, w I want to start from the beginning here of Neofly. Let's go back to the main menu. Turn on assist for taxi. Uh, taxi jockey. The sand cushion near landing. Yeah, I think if it was maybe fun for the sand. Uh, I think it would have been a, a overstressed the airframe. Because it was like neg minus or dash 800 pl plus feet per minute. I think that would smash a general aviation year. I mean, maybe not the BN2 Islander. It's pretty sturdy. But uh, let's take a look. Uh, seems all right. Okay. If anyone wants to join in multi here, just let me know. I'll start a server. And look, where Microsoft Flight Center wants you to park. Yeah, I should I should drive to parking properly, if that's what you mean. Let's search for another one, another pizza delivery. Let's try to do it properly this time uh, without going over a thousand feet. Uh, there's one uh, uh, south. Let's go. Let's take this one to the. All right, I'm gonna click fly. A 
Okay, Johnny, I'm going to play on my bike. <laughs> the, is it ha is an internet connected bike, Icebird? Wow. And the lighting here is pretty bad. Yeah, I apologize for that. I'll, let me try to do this. Let's try to do this and see if it improves things a little. Maybe just a little. I feel like I turned red over here. I don't want to, to be a, some sort of demon from Diablo. I'm just doing stream stuff uh, live here. Look at that, the white balance. You can see my green screen. I'm, just, I'm not going to mess around with it too much. You know. All right. Uh, we need uh, 2080. Oh, no, we need 972. Let's do it. I'm going to start on the parking. Set us departure. I'll do it from in here already. Uh, what did it say? Uh, 972. Bring everything to zero here. And then let's put uh, some magic pizza here. Uh, let's put, uh, what, 700? And uh, what? Uh, 32? There you go, 972. CG out of limit. What? Oh, okay. All right. Let's give some more weight for this guy. Let's give him a... Uh, let's make him a, you know, it's a big pizza guy. That's a, a bigger pizza guy. Let's give him 200 pounds. And then we'll go to 632. Wow, still, I, I never had this before. Should I stream if you want? Oh, a stream of yourself riding on the bike? That's up to you. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's let's just pretend that we're let's just pretend that we're putting all the pizza over at uh, on the on the passenger seat here. What was it? Nine seventy two. Oh, now it's out of limit there. Okay. Wow. It's it's really six hundred uh, right there. In the, we're, we're, this is the center of gravity problem here we're having. Okay. Nine seventy two. Uh, okay. 952. Wow, this one this thing wants me to do math too today. It's, we're gonna have a uh, trouble. Transporter oh, Twitch will ban you? <laughs> well the, if if you if you do it with all your clothes off, maybe. Uh, but I think if you're if you're if you're wearing like a, a a swimsuit and you and you put your 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 uh I assume it's it's an indoor uh, exercise bike, if you put it inside a inside a, a hot tub, I think uh, you're allowed to do that now. Didn't they have this whole like like uh, some sort of hot tub uh, category came on and because uh, some famous streamer was streaming uh, wearing a bikini and then uh, they, they turned the ads off for the streamer and then there was an uproar and so they added the hot tub uh, <laughs> the hot tub <laughs> the hot tub uh, category and they're like okay if you want to stream in a bikini as long as you're not hot tub or on the beach it's okay or something like that I, I don't know You hate those hot tub streams that keep pushing it on to recommendations. Yeah, that's, you know. Hey, and I think we have a uh, Matrog here, perhaps. Let's take a look around. Uh, I think uh, if you're close to my... Oh, this Canadian Carrot. Welcome, Canadian Carrot, for to, to join us here. Excellent. And I will write the names of the followers on my body. <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> what, what the heck? What a world we live in, right? Maybe if you if you if you like uh, if you sub for like two years, uh, they'll tattoo it on you know. <laughs> or if you donate a, a certain amount, I don't know. All right, let's check uh, Neil Pad here. Uh, we're gonna take off and we're gonna take a bearing of 64. So I'm gonna and it's about 23 nautical miles away. So bearing of 64. So before I even turn on any of the systems, I'm already going to turn my little heading bug. I love this thing. I love the heading bug. I'm going to turn that all the way to 64 degrees. All right, 64 degrees. There you go. So then we know that we just point the little airplane to that after we take off and we'll be on course. We don't have to keep uh, going back and forth to this thing. All right, uh, being two under, let's the mixture is at 100. Let's put the propeller pitch. Uh, let's leave it a... Uh, 
about halfway around there. And let's turn on the electrical systems. Uh, like I'll start with the battery. I think you usually start with the port generators, but I just wanna... Yeah, I think first you start with the port generators, the port and the starboard generator. And then you turn on the battery and then you check the ammeter up here on the top right. Yep, it's in the green there. We got some volts running through the airplane. Yeah, I know, that's crazy, you know, 64 knots, the magic number, both uh, for this mission. We're 64, and look at that, we're 64 knots, and the little blue thing there is for the takeoff of this airplane. Stay away from my game streams with the hot tub thing, the hot tub streams. <laughs> Alright, port mags activated on port, starboard mags activated on starboard. We'll open that up, uh, we'll make sure that... Uh, the parking brake is on, right? Parking brake is on. Let's turn on the lights. If, uh, I'll turn on the pulse switch or the landing lights. One of my favorite features of this airplane, you can change pulse on and off. Turn on the beacon, turn on the navigation lights. You do get a, by the way, Neoflight does give you a, a bonus if you turn on these lights before you turn on the engine. One of them, I don't know if it's the, I think it's the the navigation or the, or the, or the beacons. Okay, it's like a safety issue, I think. And let's turn on the avionics. Let's be positive. Oh, 64, okay. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Did, who won that landing, by the way? Was it Shipa? Yeah, Shipa. Before I take off here, also let me uh, let me update the landing rate thing. I'll turn the engines on first, okay? Let's start off the starboard one. Wow, okay. That wasn't successful. I think I have to put on uh, the propeller pitch to max, maybe. Oh, having a problem here. I think I'm having a sound issue too. It's sounding so so uh, low, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let me turn it on a little bit higher. And let me leave it at the game with game capture now. It might disappear for a second. My apologies for that, but it'll be right back. There you go. We are back with the game capture and let's try again. Did, did I miss something? Did I, is, is the fuel selector? Oh, fuel pumps, okay. Left fuel valve on, right fuel valve on, auxiliary fuel pump on, auxiliary fuel pump on. Okay, now it's gonna work, let's go. Hopefully. All right. Starboard engine uh, is working. Now uh, we can check uh, the RPMs there. Manifold pressure is the right engine. I love that little, that it says like R there. Isn't that cool? And the fuel flow. Yep, for the right engine is flowing. Let's do the starboard engine, uh, port engine now. Transporter form dispatch. Engine Ready is on. Please stand by. It comes up. These are so cool, these dials. Be careful that uh, we're not. We have the parking brake on, right? I don't want to. I wish they modeled tides in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Yeah, if, if if they modeled tides, it would be awesome because this uh, this airfield. I think I, I'm not sure if this is right, but I think that this thing here is a tide. Uh, is something to measure tide. This little thing over here. Okay, all pizza on board. I stay to take care of them. I think that's for, for modeling the tide because uh, apparently you can only land here when the tide is you know low. Because when the tide comes up high, the water comes up here. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. Matrog is waiting for us. Let's go and join Matrog. All right. Uh, request taxi. Depart straight out. I don't. I don't think it is simulated. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think tides are simulated. All right. Let's get moving. Uh, parking brake uh, off. Oh, did I turn it on? Whoa, what's going on here? Am I stuck? Stand by. Okay, here you go.
Ignore you see they're on drugs. Look at the wind socks. <laughs> Copy that. Yeah, they, they they give me. Maybe they're eating a. They, maybe they had quite. They had a couple of. They they stole a couple of slices of that magic pizza we're gonna deliver because. Uh, what did they say the wind was coming from? Let's take a look. Uh, they said. Uh, Oh, I don't. Okay, taxi hold short. Uh, run with. It. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just look at the wind socks. So. May your hearts fly with you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Icebird. Oh, look at that. A matriarch has a has a. I think a custom skin here. Or, oh, I wouldn't see a custom skin. I guess it's one. The BN, BN2 under comes with a bunch of skins. Let's take a look at uh, at what kind of skin a matriarch has. Let me see. Uh, see, it, it's it's kind of bugged out because now it just gives me ground services. So it's gonna say you didn't ask for permission to take off, but uh, I'm taking off. And there he is, Matrog with a nice Shetlands UK skin. All right, ready? Gonna close that off. Let's go. Actually, I think the wind socks are wrong. Just check the wind a little now. The wind socks are 180 out. Really? Maybe that's why I had so much trouble with that. Let's see. Whoa, 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 I think you're right. Whoa, look at this. Have a nice flight and don't mess with this guy. There's another one of those things. I think that's definitely a tide measuring thing. I, I didn't uh All right, traffic control again. I uh, didn't have an option on the radio to ask you to take off, so please uh, contact the Silver Studios over. All right, let's go back and fly over Matrog and I'll observe his takeoff to see what, what's going on here. Let's stay below 1,000 feet because we don't want to for the mission to fail, okay? We do not want the mission to fail. We have, to we have magic pizza on board. We don't want authorities to find out, so we have to stay about uh, below 1,000 feet, which is exciting. It's nice to fly a uh, nap of the earth style. Would there be an investigation? Uh, I hope so. I, I, I'm, uh, I mean, if we're gonna keep operating from a place like this, you know, they probably just don't get enough traffic, and they're they're a little bit, uh, they're getting a little bit lenient and, and not paying attention to their procedures here. And there goes Matrog. So, so the wind socks are 180 out, huh? Yeah, that's something going on here because look at the wind sock is pointing that way and. I felt a tailwind, but who knows, maybe it's some weird characteristic of this airfield. There is a, a hill there. Alright, Matrog, I'm gonna go to, I think, bearing 064. I'll form up on you. Let me drink some water, stand by. Quite a bit of turbulence here. Let's turn off the auxiliary fuel pumps. Let's activate the strobe light. We'll turn off the landing light and taxi lights. Oh, and let's watch that height. Let's watch that height. Stay low. This plane loves to climb. If you just leave it, it wants to climb. You have to trim it down. We're almost there on our 64 bearing. Hey, hydrate. Thanks, Mr. I just hydrate. I'll hydrate again because it's good to drink water. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday to you. F-18 stopped the BN2 Islander, took off without permission. Also had 700 pounds of trucks on board. Yeah. They have an F-18 coming from Microsoft Flight Simulator, believe it or not. It's a cross promotion of Top Gun, you know. Just people just love Tom Cruise, so whenever Tom Cruise does something, uh, people respond, I guess. I mean, I wish he wasn't uh, in that sort of cult. Uh. Mayday, mayday, mayday. We have lost radio and radar contact. <sighs> oh, no. I am not doing good today. This wind here is throwing me off. It's a 20, 20 plus knot wind. I'm just going to go restart. Sorry about that, Matrog. I crashed out second time. Uh, I f first, I failed because uh, 
I just went over a thousand feet. Now I wasn't paying attention to the to the. Your bandwidth is too low for data streaming. Have it switched to offline mode? What the heck? Everything is is going off today. What's going on? You're good. Hey Tim. And I'm sorry about your predictions that that's all gonna be off, thrown out the window now because uh, because of my ineptitude. <laughs> I'll take my time. <laughs> it's magic pizza, Timmy. That's uh. <laughs> You know, it's a kind of pizza that you eat and it tastes good, but uh, you can have the munchie, you can get high and get the munchies at the same, and, and, uh, and uh, cure the munchies at the same time. You're being boycotted, I know, what the heck is going on today? Well, let me do another Neofly mission, I'll tell you, Matrog, where the next one will be, because this one uh, was a second failure of delivery pizza today. But you know what? This means I lost my airplane right here. Let me turn on and show you what I'm doing. Uh, let me turn on display capture and show you what's going on here in Neofly. Look at that. I, I, it wasn't shared, okay? It wasn't shared, so I, I have the money back. But now... Oh! They do have a BN2 Islander here for sale, but it costs 699 the, 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 the numbers vary, okay? You can find it for cheaper somewhere else. But no more BN2 Islander for me right now. Um... Unless I take a loan. I've never done loans before. Should I try that? Can I do Can I take a loan? Uh, how do you take loans? Market. Uh, aircraft market. Uh, right click buy. Sorry, not enough money. Yeah, sometimes the universe does go against you. I think my, YT says I think I fixed my mic and stream but with the picture all right. Uh, the picture was all right. It was quite uh, it was quite laggy. I mean it was very low frame rate. But the most important thing is the sound. I think in stream. So I think uh, the sound is by far the most important thing. Um, from my research and from my own experience, what I do is I, I click record on OBS Studio and I record myself playing a game and, and I try to get the sound levels right. But it's a constant thing because I play different games and one game the sound level might be off. Oh, the stuntman! I got more than 10 crashes, at least uh, that, okay. But how do you get a loan in this? I thought it would be under finance. Uh, payment amount ID. Oh, here you go. I click down here. Interest rate. Let's take a loan and let's buy the BN2 Lander back. Okay, let's take a, the least one possible. 137 interest rate. Eight, oh, 124 interest rate of 5%. Look at this one. Interest rate of 2%. That's good. Let's take 162. Right click. Execute loan. Oh, I'm getting in trouble here, you know. I got a loan. Now I can get my BN2 Islander again. Buy. I'm gonna have to pay this off. You bought a brand new BN2 Brit Norman Islander Hypertech Seal. That's the name of my my library. Can I go back to the hangar? There it is. Let's give it a seagull again. I'm just gonna call it shuttle because, uh, well, let's call it seagull. I mean, I, I had bad luck with it, but seagull shuttle maybe. Let's try to get better luck here. Okay. Shell neighbor turns to seagull shuttle. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna start insurance because I want to get that money back if I crash again. And we have to pay off this loan now, people. Now we're, now we're, we're, we're as if we're in an educa American education system, okay? You, you go in debt and pay it for the rest of your life. In Tunisia, making money, good luck to you. <laughs> Should I, I, I'm gonna keep flying here because you know, I have Matrak here with me. Maybe I'll go to Tunisia a bit later, Shipa. But I do wanna fly with you. All right, let's f look for missions. And uh, let's try to fly here. Okay, Matrix, it won't be too far from where you are. It'll be uh, not far from Kana Sunday, okay? Uh, right click, fly. Connect and fly. Transporter form dispatched. We, need, mission this time. we need 726. On until a weird guy come on board. 726 on the aircraft. Okay, we're at 972. So, uh, what's that? 500. 400, 726, 406, that's 726, that's good. I think I'll be exiting Tunisia soon, I'm doing missions along the coast slowly. I lived in Tunis for like two or three years when I was a teenager, one of the best experiences of my life. Went to a tiny American school, call it short luck. You may have been good on GPS.
All right, let's go. Let's try this again. One more time after two failures. All right. Generators activated, battery activated. Check the amateur, we're good. Avionics activated. We're gonna open up Neofly. We're gonna have a bearing of 84 here. So we're gonna come to the compass and we're going to go to uh, 84 in the compass here. Give me a second. You can use the mouse to scroll to make it a little faster. If you scroll fast, uh, it goes fast. 84, that's good. And now uh, we're going to make sure the left fuel valve is on, the right fuel valve is on, and the fuel, both the right and left fuel pumps are on. That's in the right position. Flaps to take off over here. And the uh, mixture is at full. Let's put the propellers RPM at full. We check the parking brake is on. We're going to turn on uh, post lights. We're going to turn on land landing and taxi lights. We're going to turn on the nav lights. A lot of clicking around here. Beacon light. Uh, we'll leave the, stro the, the strobe off. And now we're going to turn her on and, and pray to the god. I'm going to keep my eye here on the airspeed the whole time. Oh, did I forget something else? Magnetos, of course. No, this is why you have this is why you have pilots have checklists because we're human beings we're not computers we forget stuff transporter form dispatch loading cargo please stand by copy that uh dispatch uh hypertext you one uh, standing by here oh 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 well it must be a heavy guy he walked in and even though i have the you know the parking brake on the, the plane move forward Let's switch to some lo-fi over here, ladies and gentlemen. Trying to bring you some music on the stream. Okay, Keep things chill. All pizza on board. I stay to take care of them. Let's go. All right, man. Let's get going. Stand by. Transporter. Transporter from dispatch. The cargo is on board. You are clear to taxi to the runway and take off. Copy that, dispatch. Uh, let's try... Uh, Request departing straight out Ground again. Hypertext Hero 1 request taxi for takeoff departing straight out. Hypertext Hero 1 taxi to the hold short of runway 25 using taxiway cross runway tree tree cross runway 29 er Contact tower on 118.08 when ready. Okay, 118.08. I'll try to I'll acknowledge taxi clearance and we'll try to uh, do it manually afterwards, okay? I'm just already gonna request takeoff clearance from here since it's appearing. So wind socks apparently off here. All right, we're good to go. Parking brake is off. Quickly, a uh, full left rudder here while we're giving some power. I mean, if the if these wind socks are off, then uh, I'm, I, it's so weird though, because it just weirds me out that the wind sock would be off. Is there another way to check wind? Is there like a little tree or something here? I'm just gonna follow the wind sock for now. I managed to take off the other time. I think I'll be fine. All right. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to the game capture here. I apologize for this uh, momentary uh, disappearance of the screen. Just gives me a few more frames from this play. I switch this play when I'm gonna spend a lot of time in Neo Fly or doing something like uh, get a new airplane after I crash. This Matrog is back here. <laughs> Apologies. Okay, let's let's go. Let's follow what Matrog is doing. Let's ignore the windsock, which apparently are wrong right right now. Let's uh, let's taxi to where Matrog is and let's um, let's take off together here. I think Neo Fly also gives you a bonus for uh, taxiing at a correct speed. I'm probably losing that bonus right now because I'm I'm going pretty fast. I'm taxiing at uh, well, less than 20 knots. Maybe I'm still within the parameters.
Oh. I made sure if you want to take off first, I'll follow you. Or we could do a side by side if you want, kind of like a fighter airplanes. Nice groove coming in from, uh, it's called Summer Breeze by Vibe, Vibe Sun via Twitch soundtrack beta. Whoa, and what is this? This is Thinking Forever also by Vibe Sun. Get the sound level a little lower now. All right, I think I already have Kieran's from the tower. We're good to go. Uh, flaps at takeoff position. Uh, we are gonna go to a bearing. I already set it down there, but to just confirm, bearing 84. It's about 24 nautical miles away to deliver this magic pizza. I have to stay under 1,000 feet to complete the mission. And in order not to crash my airplane again and have to take another loan potentially, I'm gonna have to stay away from that airspeed and the confusing thing for me about that is that even if you even if you have cut your throttle if you have a tailwind it'll push you over into the stress uh, limit of your airplane and you will crash so that's the tricky thing about the planes like this that uh don't have a very uh don't fly very fast okay here we go i'm gonna go full power Gonna rotate at a uh, 60 knots. Whoa, very quick. Have a nice fly, and don't mess with this guy. Copy that dispatch. Uh, I'm not messing with this guy. The universe is messing with me. Okay. Let's stay below a thousand feet. Flaps uh, up. Fuel pumps uh, off. Both port and starboard engine. Any trucks off too, and we're off, ladies and gentlemen. Very pretty and green. Let's stay in the cockpit here and let's make sure that we're not over speeding. I turn off all my external view um, indicators of speed and stuff. They're, they're useful, but I like to have a clear when I'm in the external view. I like to have a clear view because it's the game is just really beautiful, and I like to have a, a clear view of uh, of everything. All right. Whoa. Got some rock and roll coming here. That's kind of uh, unusual for Twitch soundtrack beta. This is Social Assassin by Plebeium. Sounds all right. Some uh, grooving here. I'm going to Seattle next week. No streams next week. This is where this kind of music originated from. Grunge uh, alternative. One of the places at least. And here's Matrox coming in with us, ladies and gentlemen. The big engine prevents me from seeing him very close, but uh, thank you, Shippa. Excellent. Quite a bit of a turbulence here. Copy that, Barra Tower, Hyper Frequency Change Approved, Hypertech 01. Hyper zero one I have to keep trimming this airplane down. Oh, 
Let's acknowledge the squad code. Sounds good, uh, Shippa. That's my job here too. Have a good uh, dish uh, washing session. It's a good, uh, you know, meditative thing to do, I think. I, I meditate when I'm washing dishes or daydream. Let's get on Metrog's wing here. Go Flima Hotel Foxtrot uh, Alpha Foxtrot Kilo away, away from keyboard. Very nice to have some company here. Matrog flying with us. We flew together a PT-17 uh, Pilot Trainer 17 Steerman the other day. And now here we are with BN2 Islander. Let's go to his uh, port side, it's a little bit easier to see. Very pretty library that kind of reminds you of, you know, it has Greek colors. <laughs> I'm trying to keep watching the speed and flying formation here, it can be tricky. But uh, we're getting there. I have to get quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, left rudder here. The wind is throwing me around a bit. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna focus on the mission here. Uh, let's see where we are. Well, halfway there. It's on the sea. Maybe it's uh, another yacht. Excellent. I still have my landing beacons on. I'm just going to leave them on because I kind of... I, uh, I like them. I like that pulsating thing that the BN2 and the Islander does as an option and it works to pulsate the lights. Oh, watch that. Watch that speed there. See? Look at that. I think we have a tailwind here. And uh, I just really have to watch that speed, get the throttle back. In the afternoon stream, I am probably going to switch over to Isle 2 Sturmovik. There's a server I want to try out. Stormbirds.blog uh, Shamrock wrote about it. It's a server that is attempting to uh, to replicate uh, settings from uh, back, like this airfield capture game setting that's from a video game called Warbirds that I used to play in 1995, the first multiplayer flight simulator I ever played. And uh, I'm interested in trying that. I'm not a huge fan of P versus P, but I think it's P versus P versus E. You can, you can take out, you know, uh, AI uh, ground vehicles and stuff. So I'm gonna jump in and check it out. One thing that I, that I miss when you go into these uh, flight simulator servers that are full real settings only, is that you usually you're stuck to the it's not so much the there's no labels although i like labels too i don't under, understand why they don't want to put labels they want to make it more like you know a real a world war ii flight team literally have to keep looking around and there's the element of surprise that uh if you sneak up behind someone you can take them out but 
It's outside views. I love outside views, like this view, for example. It's so nice to see an airplane from an outside view because it's not something you can do, you know, often in reality, seeing something flying up close from an outside view. It's exciting, it's cinematic, and uh, a lot of these uh, servers, they just disable that. So this new one, it's called a Clash of Eagles or something. Uh, be advised, Matrix, I'm going to turn, uh, I'm a bit off course here, so I'm going to turn more to starboard. I'm going to about, uh, it's going to be a zero, uh, a 120, 120. Um, so what uh, this Clash of Eagles server is trying to do is uh, th they're having two settings. One is full real and one is, uh, is less uh, intense. One is, uh, you have icons on and I, re and I request as, as, a, as a suggestion in the Discord, uh, could you turn on outside views for at least the one that's not the full real because then uh, I think it just also makes it, when you're streaming these video games, it makes it much more interesting for people to watch as well. If you can do, you know, flyby views, if you can, if you can, can look, looking around and look at the airplane, because the really detailed modeling on a lot of these digital airplanes you get to fly with these days. So it's, uh, it's nice to be able to see it from the outside. And look at these waves. It's, uh, it's windy, and the wind in Microsoft Simulator, Flight Simulator, affects the sea. It affects the waves, which is really nice to see. Apparently in a, in a update, uh, I guess the same one that the F-18 is going to come in, they have a new uh, graphical effect, maybe wake for airplanes, for hydroplanes, flow planes that land on water. So that is much needed, I think. Also, perhaps kicking up some dust for the helicopters. That would be nice to see in here. Keep an eye on the altitude. Stay below 1,000 feet. We're flying pretty low here. so And we're approaching uh, the pizza delivery location. Look at that. There it is. There's no boat there, I'll just assume they, they're in a submarine, you know, they're having a part. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, man, look at that ship! Okay, we're delivering magic pizza to a cruise ship, okay? It's a cruise ship we're delivering magic pizza, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no wonder they want to have a party, you know, they're out on a cruise ship. Have you thought about getting the uh, UI mod so you can toggle nameplates on and off? Uh... Oh, there's a UI mod you can toggle with a with a keyboard command. I would love that. I didn't even know about that. Um, I don't mind the nameplates. Uh, sometimes I want to take screenshots and I want to toggle them off for the screenshot. But usually I just pause the game and go and turn it off manually. If there's a UI mod that you can gives you a keyboard command, that would be awesome. Well, here's a ship. Okay. Just gonna just miss the. Okay, we're just gonna drop it on the sea here, and uh, and they're gonna have to get a little boat to go pick it up. Okay. Useful for screenshot search. UI mod and flight sim two. Th thanks, Matrix. I appreciate that. I'll check it out. All right. Pizza delivered. Rush to the base and stay low as long we are not safe. All right, copy that. Uh, that's a uh, mission six, not success. Yes, we have to get back to base. You know, we have to deliver the guy here Square. back to base. That confirmation that the pizza has been received. Well done. You can land. All right, let's head back to heading back for uh, Barra, Matron. And after that, I think I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna send a, a Ven I'm gonna Venmo some money up to Scotty on the Starship Enterprise in orbit around Earth, and. Um, I'm just gonna fly by the ship one more time because I want to see it up close, and I'm going to uh, I'm gonna ask Scotty to beam my Islander up to the Enterprise and then beam her down to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We're gonna go fly from Barra, Scotland, to Barra da Tijuca, do some missions over there. Look at this! Is this a custom car, a custom cruise ship they put from Neofly? It's pretty cool. I wonder if we can do a touch and go on it. I'm not gonna try it right now because you know it probably there's a swimming pool there. They don't have any water probably because it's too cold to swim in the swimming pool outside here in Scotland. Okay, useful thing about putting your heading here in this uh, in this compass with the heading bug over there is that we can see the back azimuth pretty easily. That's east. The back azimuth will be over there. 
And whenever I speak about back azimuth, uh, it just means, you know, the, the opposite direction from uh, where you're going. So if you're going north, your back azimuth is a south, okay? Uh, a useful thing uh, for people that are new here or haven't seen this before. If you want to, to practice just knowing back azimuth by heart, it can be useful if you're playing a shooter and, you, and uh, you're pointing in one direction and there's someone coming from behind you, you can say, instead of uh, thinking about it, you can just say a number. Uh, I did this, I made this uh, compass over here. You can go and download it and print it out. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's helped me. I have it printed out on top of my of my mod and stuck on the on the wall here on top of my monitor. There's made Trog. I'm getting close with this. I'm staying below 1,000 feet because it is a magic pizza delivery mission for Neofly. You have to stay below 1,000 feet in order in order not to be detected for the very you know uh, overzealous uh, enforcers of the law here. That's uh, they don't want magic pizza delivered. They're going to find your airplane and uh, and bring it down. Predicts negative 12,000. I don't blame you, Timmy. My little landing earlier today was negative, was uh, minus uh, 800 or some feet per minute. A very reckless and uh, unlucky flying day here. Mostly reckless, you know. The problem is here between my, my ear... Uh, between my earphones, that's where the problem usually lies when I, when things go wrong and, and flights for me. <laughs> it's not the airplane, it's not uh, the sim, it's uh, it's uh, it's my brain. Predict negative one, wow, thank you, <laughs> my truck. All right, that's quite a range there. That is quite a range. All right, let me give myself a little bit. Let's let's switch this back azimuth here. I'm gonna look. Uh, the heading right now is at negative eighty four. So the back azimuth for negative 84 is going to be around, uh, what, 260 something. Okay, so let's just go to 260 something. But it's easy here visually. That's the nice thing about dials instead of uh, digital numbers is that you visually can, in one second, I can see the opposite from that is right there. So I don't have to, met a me I don't have to make a mental calculation. That's why I like analog watches and analog dials so much better than digital ones because it's, it's easier, it's faster. And uh, when you have a lot of things going on in an airplane or, or, or uh, you're running and you're looking at uh, your phone or, or your... It's just so much easier to see something visually. Oh, I mean some trouble here. Let me, let me get the track IR set over here. Okay, heading bug, go. Around there, 284, let's say. All right, and then uh, and I'm going to... I learned how to use this the other day. I'm going to turn on the autopilot. I'm going to leave a heading. And uh, hopefully the autopilot will just uh, move the airplane banker gently towards that uh, that little uh, heading bug over there. And just lever her out. Don't let me down. No pressure. <laughs> all right. No pressure at all. Well, I had enough pressure yesterday with that landing after Fabio's raid, so... Of course, ladies and gentlemen, a shout out to the Flying Fabio. A gentleman, I learned a lot from him. A, uh, a very kind gentleman that sh shares his knowledge of aviation. And uh, it was a great pleasure to, to have him come in with his crew here yesterday. All right, autopilot seems to be working pretty well. Let's... Uh, Let's see, we're probably off course. We're probably north of the course here. Yeah, we want to We want to get back to, uh, let's see. A 276, that's so cool. And then the airplane just turns for you. You got a hands off here, it gives me a little moment. Even a little more actually. I first learned to use autopilot uh, during CDLs. Uh, that's another sh shout out I should put out there. Let me give a shout out to Timmy first, because Timmy Thumba, an excellent friend of the stream here. All right. And uh, a shout out to CDL, because the first time I learned to use autopilot was uh, with CDLs. Uh, this uh, race you organized of uh, 
between Perth and Aust and Sydney. It was a, a race using the fault airplanes and it was like a 20 hour stream, my record. And I decided to do it. And of course I had to learn to use the autopilot. Uh, Icebird helped me. And, um, and if it wasn't for that, you know, I wasn't gonna stay up flying an airplane, uh, flying an airplane for 20 hours uh, non-stop. Some people did that, the people flying the pit special and the, you know, the fast airplanes, there's no autopilot in those, they, they went nuts and they just uh, stayed up, I guess. But I couldn't do that, I had to, go, had to take breaks to sleep. And I did, and... Um, but that's where I learned to use the autopilot. You know, Cessna 172. All right, let's switch back to some uh, bossa music, some jazz perhaps. if I take manual control of the airplane like if I just push it does the autopilot automatically put me back on the heading afterwards let's try to do that let's try to move her down there's a gentle bank over here and then I'm gonna release the controls and uh, and I'll see it. the autopilot is probably gonna bank me back and it, it's gonna take me to that heading yep there it is okay now let's put the heading bug towards where Matrog is Super interesting this that what you do here on the compass, you know, I'm a total amateur of aviation, so with uh, piloting these airplanes, so it's interesting to me that like this little button here is so powerful. You pick a heading and then you come over here to the right side, you press that button to turn the autopilot on, you press heading and it'll keep going to that heading. You can change vertical velocity to climb or, or descend. I'm just keeping it at zero. Very nice, very nice feature. How, how close are we getting here? We're halfway. We're gonna do our best to complete this mission without crashing. I'm gonna, if, I, if I'm gonna have a bad landing, I'm gonna go around, I'm not gonna force it this time. Basically, you fly. I see a lot of these airliner people. They they fly the airplane by just, just turning these little dials. And I think you know that's how these airplanes are, are flown. These these big jets these days. You you're not manually flying it. Even for landing and takeoff, you can you can set it uh you can set it automa uh, automated. But I think jet, those they generally take the controls. Okay, unless it's really still, I assume. Maybe, maybe actually you have to do it manually, the landings. I, I would be surprised if you if you could do it with autopilot. But I'm not sure. Quite a bit of drift here from the wind. Let's get our uh, volume a little bit higher. Pizza guy still back here. We we delivered the I, I think it was like almost a ton of magic pizza to this uh, cruise ship for their party, and now we're heading back to Baja, Scotland, to EGPR, Echo Golf Papa Romeo to land. Staying below 1,000 feet here to avoid the authorities. Matrogs out there, flying up ahead to make sure that there's no you know police or airplanes or police waiting for us at the at the airfield. 
And we're moving. We're, we're finally, hopefully, going to complete a mission in Neoplite today. Haven't been able to complete one yet. Sometimes the universe uh, gives you trouble. You just have to stick with it and don't think that uh, the universe hates you. Okay. All right, let's go back to manual here, ladies and gentlemen. Autopilot is going to be turned off. Disengaged. Watch that airspeed. Don't get into that yellow, which is very dangerous to the BN2. And I'm just gonna ask Matrog's uh, opinion about the wind direction on uh, at Baja, if the, if you can trust the wind socks or not. There seems to be some sort of Microsoft Flight Simulator bug today that the wind socks are pointing in the wrong direction, like 180 degrees uh, the other way. I <laughs> know that's gonna be a problem. It almost looks like a. A water spout out there. Do they have water spouts in this? I haven't seen one yet. Or tornadoes. We can just check our position here. Uh, just the map, zoom our range. There you go. Echo Golf Papa Romeo Baja airfield. A beach. You can land in with low tide. Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't model tides as far as I know, so we can land there anytime. You don't have to wait for the tide to... For the tide to... the change. To be low tide. Oh, watch out. Outside views uh, of this tricky wind uh, can be tricky. I'm Hypertech Zero. This is Hyperspace. Transmitting you these... Uh, oh, watch the climb. Transmitting you these images of airplanes flying, music playing, other people flying with us, such as Matrog out there. Sound, wind, lights, animation. A conglomeration of wonder in this golden age of, mics of uh, flight simulators, both civilian and combat ones. I moved DCS over to standalone install, away from Steam, so I can try a bunch of airplanes for free for 14 days. Uh, once I come back from Seattle next week, no stream. I'll be in Seattle for the first time, the home of Hendrix, the home of uh, Cobain, the home of Grunge, the home of Microsoft, computers. I think Starbucks is, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, you know, I, or, or generally huge uh, companies, but... Micro, I became a much bigger fan of Microsoft uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, I can tell you that. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Baja Airport, which is a runway on a beach. Near the northern, northwestern tip of Scotland, on the Atlantic. Very, very, very windy, over 20 knots here we're having, probably more, close to 25 or more. Matrop is going in for the landing. Let's observe and uh, and uh, and just uh, you learn from the best. So I'm going to observe here Matrop's uh, approach. Sheepa's coming in with a prediction of uh, minus one seven zero. Thank you for that prediction, Sheepa. Matrop came in from the what the from the west northwest. Let's try that. Look like a smooth landing from here. I'm far away, but uh, look at that drift. Yeah, the wind is pushing me from that direction, so I think, yeah, that's that's the way to go. So I'm gonna basically head, uh, head, uh, 120 for the landing, more or less. Should we get in touch with the tower? Let's see if they're in a good mood today. Keeping on the airspeed, full stop landing requested. Land. 
All right. I mean, it's a it's a beach, you know. So there's no like, uh, <laughs> I don't know where runway two five is. I'm just gonna go in and hope that they they acknowledge my my landing. Laps down full. Let's get ready to. Uh, oh, there goes the comfort bonus. Sorry about that, uh, uh, pizza guy. Auxiliary fuel pumps activated. I think I just kept my landing light on the whole flight because it's a pretty short one, so we're just gonna leave it at that. They're gonna tell me you didn't have permission to land, but I'm just gonna go in. Yeah, this is feeling good. A little more power. Very, very windy here. Look at that drift. Maybe I, maybe I, I shouldn't go more that way. Let's see. I'm just going to land right close to the tower. Give Matrog a nice view of the landing here. I think I think uh I think this is a tailwind right here. Take a look. Okay, that's That's the wind sock. <laughs> that's a wind sock, you know. Great information hypertext here. I'm just going to go in right here and hope for the best. Sheep uh, and applause. That was better. Minus one six nine. I'll take it. Wow. Yeah, that was close, huh? I have to update. You won two, right? Is this the second one you won today? I think that's two. Oh, come down. Yes, I did. Going a little merry-go-round here. There used to be a bug where the default wind saw object was 180 degrees out, so senior designers rotated them to cor to be correct. Then a so will fix the bug, so now some airports still have the wrong wind socks. That's funny. So this one is one of them, huh? Interesting. You know the nature of software developers. I'm, I was a web developer for a while, but I'm I'm glad I'm not anymore. I I wouldn't mind doing it, you know, if. Uh, if it's with people I worked with before or, or nice people and stuff, but it, it's just a lot of so many different bugs. You break, you fix something, you break something else, something else breaks, and you fix something different that wasn't supposed to be fixed. Uh, you have to think about the back end, the front end, uh, the visual thing, the web browsers. It's just crazy, crazy. Web developers should be paid a lot of money, especially if they know how to make websites that are not just, they have no JavaScript. That's just HTML, CSS, with a sprinkling of JavaScript for accessibility, not just depending on JavaScript for everything. All right, uh, I'm just gonna park right here by, uh, by Matrog. Opa! Whoa, whoa! Look at that, look at the suspension on that aeroplane. All right, let's try to climb up on the. This is this might end badly, but I'm gonna just climb up over here. Go, full power. Oh, let's put the flaps up. Flaps all the way up. Okay, let's try once again. This is probably gonna end badly, but I want to get up on here. Did I manage? Almost. A little bit further. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't want to. I want. I don't want to crash, so I'm trying to. 
There you go. All right. I'll leave it there. That's good enough. Parking brake on. Landing okay. Is that a is that a is that a is that mission accomplished? I didn't get a mission accomplished thing. Do I have to turn off? Uh... Landing okay. Do I have to turn on the airplane? No, oh, the mission is ended. Okay. Landing okay. Fuel consumption. Mindia mission ending because success. Good. I, I got I got the notification there. Finally. Okay. Finally, a successful mission here. And now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to to uh, to display capture so you can see uh, what I'm gonna do in Neofly. Let's turn the airplane off. Let's turn her off over here. I'm just gonna cut uh, the fuel uh, cut the, cut the fuel valves up here. I think that's how you're supposed to turn off the engine. I, f I forget if it's just here or and there. Let's just go like that. It's gonna be fine. There you go. Fuel pumps are off. Magneto's uh, off. And uh, avionics off. Alright. And we'll go back to the main menu because right now we're gonna fly. We're gonna. Here, this is what we're gonna do. Commander Scott, uh, this is Hypertex Hill. Can you beam me up and my BM2 Islander up to the Enterprise and then beam her down again to uh, the near closest airfield to Barra da Tijuca in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Over. Okay, he's gonna be saying aye aye, Captain. And this is how you do that in Neofly, okay? And remember, I have that loan now. Let me let me let me drink some. Let me drink some water here. I have that loan now. I have to pay this back. So I have a 162,000. Babe, I have a, I have a, I have a debt too now. A Neofly. Yeah, I'm in debt. I had, to, I had to take out a loan to buy an airplane. Amber is in debt for her student loans here in the United States and IRL. I'm in debt in you know the the Neofly. So interest rate two percent. Okay, payment due on the twenty third. Whoa, I'm gonna be in Seattle. It's gonna be a problem, Ken. Okay, payment due. Uh, or can can I pay? Can I can I go like here? You go. Let's 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 pay a hundred thousand dollars right now. Oh wait, no. We need the money to beam to to Brazil. Let's pay sixty thousand dollars right now. All right. So now. We're still $100,000 to go. We only have 60. We have, we're going to be having to do some missions here. <laughs> All right. So first things first, let's go see what is the closest airport to Barra da Tijuca in Brazil. All right. Rio de Janeiro. That's where my brother is. That'd be fun to do some missions somewhere else. This friend of the stream came in here the other day. I was like, do you only fly in the UK? Don't you fly somewhere else? I'm like, here, let's fly somewhere else. Okay. Okay, this is Barra da Tijuca. I think there's an airfield, when I was a kid I lived here, and, and when I, there's an airfield like around here somewhere, I think. Here you go, here it is. Clube da Aeronáutica. Clube da Aeronáutica. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, we're gonna take the big world map, we're gonna take it for, we're gonna go for a spin. We're gonna spin this big beautiful planet here. Let's go to Anto Antonio Carlos Jobim, who plays uh, this type of, uh, well, not exactly this type of music, more bossa nova. He's a great, uh, he was very afraid of flying. He was terrified of, of flying, but he loved the airplanes. Isn't that funny? He loved aviation, he loved airplanes. And he has a, a song called Samba do Avião, Samba for the airplane. Should I put it here? I mean, we'll probably get a DMCA strike or something, but... Uh, I think I'll put it on anyway, and no, I just won't send it to YouTube afterwards. Or actually, YouTube, you don't. It's not a big deal as long as you put, you know, this is not mine. Twitch, you can get a DMCA strike, but we might have to. Play. I, I can't play that song. I should learn how to play. There's a lot of different types of, you know, those bossa nova chords that are tricky. Here you go, Jacaré Pagua. That's the one. Let's go to Jacaré Pagua. We have some people flying over here. Here is a beautiful city, a Cabilla 1202 in the air over there. Let's uh, go to Jacarepaguá to park in number 32. Uh, set as departure, okay. So uh, I'm gonna change here, depart uh, Sierra 
Bravo, Juliet, Romeo. Okay. Sierra, Bravo, Juliet, Romeo also in the, in the go live notification for later in case we, so I don't forget. Like conditions, all players live traffic live. I am on uh, the East USA server. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and click fly here. Because it doesn't matter if you do it in NeoFly first or Microsoft Flight Simulator first. Whichever one you do first is fine. And then I'm going to go back to NeoFly. And I'm going to say, hey, Scotty. Starship Enterprise, this is uh, Hypertext. Uh, beam me up and then beam me down to Jacarepaguá. Okay. And Scotty will say, okay, so what was it? Uh, Sierra Bravo Juliet Romeo set pilot position two and I'm gonna pay I have to pay 5,000 bucks to move we have 60,000 okay we can afford it the transfer has been made you are now at Sierra Bravo Juliet Romeo great and now not only that but we also have to bring our airplane over there so I'm gonna go to the hangar um, let's put a little more fuel in the airplane you can, in NeoFly, you control the fuel not through Microsoft Flight Simulator, you control it through NeoFly because you have to pay for fuel. Okay, 55.7 bucks, that's fine. You do it right here. You, you, you put as much fuel as you want of that dial and then you click on that button to validate it, okay? So now I'm going to right-click on this airplane and I'm going to go bring to pilot location. Are you sure you want to pay $10,000 to bring your Seagull shuttle over to Jacarepaguá? Yes, please, Scotty. Beam her up to the Enterprise. Bring her down to Sierra Bravo Juliet Romeo. Now we're all the way, we should be, if things went right, we should be down here and uh, and uh, we can go to mission and we can click search. And sometimes it takes a little while for it to update. I don't know if I have to restart NeoFly or what's going on, but uh, the airplane should be here now. Okay. Hangar, uh, yeah, here you go. Sierra Bravo Julia Romeo. It says that it's over here. And now let's put some bossa nova, some different... Uh, a more a Rio de Janeiro uh, uh, type music. Okay, and I, I'm always looking for new music. If you have any uh, suggestions where I could find a uh, royalty free or bossa nova to stream, I would appreciate it. Oh, that's no, sorry, that's that's the wrong link. I don't want to give a link to Hypertext Hero. That's where you are. This is what I'm listening to right now. I give credit in the end of the stream to Giorgio Di Campo, who provides this wonderful music for us to listen to. All right, what have we got around here? What have we got around? Uh, nope, uh, don't forget to put the uh, SBJR. That's where we are now. And then click on that to look for missions down here. Oh. All right, and uh, let's take a look. Let's do something. Uh, should we go land at Copacabana? Let's take... Okay, this is some executive that wants to go to a party in Copacabana. Let's go land at the beach of Copacabana, okay? Sky Copa, let's do it. All right, right-click... Uh, maybe a medic is better, or should we take this guy? It's going to be a short mission because it's almost lunchtime here. I have about 10, 15, 20 minutes left. Oh! Oh, never mind, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just working till one, so uh, we're going to have another hour to go here. All right. All right. Uh, let's let's go to Copacabana. That'll be a nice. Uh... There's also a one to go to Santos Dumont, which will be nice too. But let's do the. Let's go to Copacabana. Why not? It's a helicopter mission, but you can, I can land on the beach, you know. You just have to do a couple of low passes to, to make sure people run and get out of the way. And then you go in and land. Okay, I'm going to right click. Uh, there's no time limit. That's good. Uh, I'm going to right click here. I'm going to go fly. I'm going to make sure my Seagull shuttle BN2 Islander is, is there. I'm going to click connect and fly. From dispatch. We have a VIP in hurry. Okay. It is important they are flown to their destination without delay. All right, ready to fly. I'm going to go here. And here we are in Jacarepaguá Aero Clube. There's a Spitfire out there. And uh, we are going to uh, take off shortly. I'm going to take a little break before takeoff here.
Just a little break, I'll leave you with the music. And uh, before I take the break, I'm gonna make sure. Oh, my payload is already okay, but it's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put it at 347. You can do it from within the 3D world here. You don't have to go in and uh, and do it before. I thought I used to think that you had to do it before you got into the 3D world, but you don't have to. You, uh, Neoflow will accept it if you do it here. 347. Let's try to be correct here. Let's. Uh, uh, 300, uh, was it 347? So give guy, the guy 200 pounds and we'll give him a baggage of uh, uh, 27 pounds. Okay, 347, there you go. And uh, I will be right back. Let me take a little break here. Thanks for being here, I'm Hypertext Hero and you are all heroes, you're awesome. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. I'll be back shortly.
Oh, my apologies. A little longer than expected. I had a bite to eat, and my mom called, so that's a call I have to take. Oh. Hey, thanks, Icebird. How's your how's your bike going? How's your um? Uh, well, you cycle both indoors and outdoors, right? Because I guess in cycling outdoors in winter is probably not a lot of fun. Whoa. 
a big crash outside. Do you hear that? Oh, Ember's, Ember's uh, actually having a meeting right now. So please, no one raid me right now or make me do uh, crazy things on stream because I can't shout too loud. I have to, uh, to behave myself because Ember's has a meeting in the other room. Okay. Outdoor bad to watch your stream. <laughs> Hey man, if you're outdoors, uh, I wouldn't be watching a stream, I'd be... Yeah. Computers are inside. I used to get in trouble when I was a kid, because I went, you know, super... I played too many computer games, and my parents were like, go outside! So I had to... I had to learn a balance of being outside and inside. You know, it's good. Good to go outside every day. Get a little... even if it's dark. Just having no roof over your head is good for you, I think, for a little bit. Hey, Futura Light, are you a graphic designer? That's a pretty good typeface, Futura Light. Uh, are, hello, hello, Futura Light. Welcome, uh, welcome here to uh, to the chat, to hyperspace. Uh, are you a streamer? Did I have I given you a follow? I think I have, right? I think I think I've dropped by. Awesome. Action RPSs, adventure RPGs, and a little MMORPGs. And simulators, awesome. I love all sorts of video games too, for Tira Light. Thanks for dropping by. Let's give a little shout out here, ladies and gentlemen, to Futura Light. One of the great typefaces, Futura, you know, Stanley Kubrick liked it. Put in a lot of his movies, including 2001 A Space Odyssey and stuff like that. The camera a little bit. Let me bring myself a little bit away from that that side. I always get confused. Oh, I rated you. Oh, that's right. Okay. I'm sorry. I, you know, I I try my best to. I got this achievement of a hundred raids of at least two viewers the other day. I saw my achievements. Everything is gamified these days, you know. So OBS uh, stream elements, uh, Twitch has achievements, and I got a hundred raids of more than two people the other day. I was like, cool. All right. Good to spread the love. You're the second person recognizes the typeface. Are you a graphic designer? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, great typeface. One of my favorites. I like Futura. I like uh, Linotype Helvetica. Uh, you know, I like the classics too. If you can do a good design of Times New Roman, you know, that's, uh, you, uh, uh, that's awesome. Um, all right. What are we doing? This, this VIP is probably angry now, you know. I've, he's been waiting, he paid to get this BN2 Islander to this, this little airplane here. He's been waiting to be flown over to, to Copacabana Beach. Hey, you know, aviation sometimes has got to wait, there's no choice. Alright, let me, where, where's my hat? Okay, here. Put on this for track IR. Circular Standard and Helvetica New is, uh, Helvetica New is excellent, yeah. This, what I have here, my, my, my labels here, I'm using Open Sans, which is all right, you know. I'm using Stream Elements for my la label. Circular Standard, I don't think I know that one. I should look it up. Thanks for, thanks for letting me know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's start this. Uh, first, let's take a look. Oh, I know where Kakapa Bonomo is. I'm not even gonna look. I've lived in Rio de Janeiro when I was a kid. I'm not even gonna look at the bearing, okay? I'm just gonna take off and find Copacabana Beach. VFR rules, okay? So first things first, let's get these generators uh, activated. Uh, then uh, we'll turn on the fuel valves, open them up, uh, put the auxiliary fuel generators up. Uh, those things are pointing the right way, so we're fine. Then we're gonna come back down here again. We'll turn on the battery. Uh, we'll check the ammeter. Okay, it's in the green there. We got some amps flowing through the machine. It's getting electrified, it's gonna be happy flying. We're gonna turn on the landing, we're gonna turn on the beacon light. We won't blind the poor people out there, the strobe lights, even though if they have uh, as, you know, sunglasses, it's still gonna be bright. And uh, let's turn on the mags, both port number one and number two, and both starboard number one and number two. Let's make sure that our RPM is up so that our, 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 it'll actually catch. And let's turn the avionics on. What a great word, avionics. All right. And uh, let's try it. Let's start with the starboard engine. Clear, clear, everybody clear. Clear. 
go. Did I forget something? Oh, it, it's going. I think we're good. And there you go, the starboard RPMs are moving. The manifold pressure, that little nice little R thing there. I wonder what type is this stuff is on. I like Gil Sands as well. Some people hate it. I quite, I quite like Gil Sands. Um, seatbelts. Uh, yeah, I don't think there. I don't think there is seatbelt. I, I, I can click on it, but nothing happens. Okay. You can open the door of the BN2 Islander, which is cool. You can open. It doesn't have sound right now. In about a month's time, we're gonna have sound for all this stuff. They're getting finally a, a wise sound engineer. But okay. That's true, I've been flying without seatbelts all this time, what the heck. And some of the landings I do, you know, I'm surprised there's not like cracks here on the on the windshield for me heading my head on it. Okay, alright. Let's uh, turn on the port engine as well. Ooh, wrong one, okay. Transporter from dispatch, boarding VIP. Gil Sands, yeah, it's, I think it's built into, I think, the Apple operating system at least, so Mac OS. In terms of Gil Sands, the Ultra Bolt is kind of cool. The dot Hello, above the AI morning. is like really on the side a bit. It's really interesting. Yeah, it's playful. It's the Sans Serif, you know. All right, where are we gonna go? Let's uh, ask uh, Tun Jacarepagua. VIP on board. You are clear to go. Request taxi and depart straight well. Chakare Pegua, Chakare Pagua. Taxiing and holding short of runway 21 using taxiway Alpha, Hypertext 01. Taxiing hold short runway 21 via taxiway Alpha, Hypertext 01. Taxiing hold short runway 21 via taxiway Alpha, Hypertext 01. Okay, getting better at that. All right, I'll just uh, minimize that for now. Let's see where the heck this runway is. What is it? Uh, they want me to take off for runway 21. Okay, there's just one runway in this place. This Matrog is gonna draw, join us again. Friend of the stream here, we've flown the PT-17 Steerman that I got the other day. I think uh, Fabio learned, fa not Fabio learned to fly, the Flying Fabio. <laughs> okay, that's Forder learned to fly. The Flying Fabio today is going to be flying the PT-17. I'm going to try and go join that stream when that happens later. Here's Matrog in his own BN2 Islander. Ooh, different library right now. We have the uh, Trans Transanguila Airways. Lovely, lovely. Just flying DC-6 today. Oh, all right. All right, that's one is 03. Oh, there's a bit of an accident of a Spitfire over here. Look at that. Uh-oh. Beautiful city. Rio de Janeiro. I miss it very much. My brother lives here. Not in that direction over there. And here, Creio dos Bandeirantes. All right, we're going to go there. Runway 21. Let's go. Um, let me get my drone view close to my airplane again so I can give you a little bit of... Uh, Oh, we're close to it already. We're, we're all the way back here. DC-6, a monster plane. Okay, I don't know. I, I, I love the... I love the DC... Was it the DC-3? I don't know. Something that kind of looks like a C-47. I may, I may be making a mistake. C-47 coming out for IL-2 Sturmovic. Another one of my favorite flight simulators. Combat one. C-47 transport plane coming out for that. Let's put the flaps to takeoff position before we forget. Let's close this little thing here. And Matrog very kindly waiting for me here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Press the wrong button for the for the brakes. You know, I'm such a professional. Let's go all the way to the back there. DC-6. Is that a is that a propeller airplane or a jet? Sounds like a propeller one. Doing it right now, cool. Well, I'm gonna go and drop by. Maybe uh, go for a little raid right after this. Four props, whoa, okay, that sounds awesome. Okay. We'll do this and then we'll go raid a flying Fabio, he's still going. 
give back the love. There's Matra. Okay, we're holding short of 2 1. Let's talk to the tower. Recorepagua Tower on 118.40. And the request takeoff clearance. Visual flight rules. Good, acknowledge the clearance and let's go. All right, here we go. We're gonna take off. We're gonna head to Baja da Tijuca and we're just gonna follow the. We're gonna follow the beach up to Copacabana in a beautiful city, Rio de Janeiro. Douglas DC6, thanks for that link, uh, Icebird. I'll check it out. Okay, rotate. Transporter, fly safe. Flaps up. We don't have to worry about height restrictions. We're just taking a VIP. We'll try to keep him comfortable by not banking more than 45 degrees here. And uh, let's look behind us. Uh, there comes Matt Rog. So this is the wonderful Atlantic Ocean here. It's a gorgeous city, one of the most beautiful cities in the world. And we're gonna bank to the left here and just follow the beach into the city. This is a Lagoa, it's a protected area here, especially to the right side there. Protected marshlands, nature reserve. Between the beach and the Recreo dos Bandeirantes in Rio de Janeiro. Let's uh, try to get our the, the, the view here in a position that will let us see the beach and see the city and see Matrock flying behind us. And that place, uh, I was promised stewardess by this, <laughs> peanuts by the stewardess. Uh, I don't think there are stewardesses here, but I apologize for that, Futura Light. I will, I will ask Scotty to beam some peanuts to your location, okay? Peanuts and, uh, and also a complimentary beverage. <laughs> and here's Baja da Chujuca right here. It doesn't, you know, Microsoft and the Subo Studios have not uh, done, a, have not done a pass in Brazil. I would love them to do a world update Brazil to make this stuff look uh, better here, but they, that hasn't happened yet. Hopefully, it will eventually. But for now, uh, all we have is uh, is uh, I'm gonna slow down here for Matrix to catch up. What we have is uh, just pretty much the default. Uh, Black Shark AI created uh, buildings. I used to live like right here when I was a kid for, for like two years. It was wonderful. Just you know, go to the beach with my mom. I was a child, so I didn't have to worry about paying bills or making food. Although I love making food now and generally the dishwasher, but I cook too. But it's nice to be a kid and not, you know. And, uh, I heard it's a hit or miss of the city's scape of... Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I think it's pretty hit and miss, but if you are generally in a... If you are in a... A country that has had a, a world update done, like the United States, England, uh, and... Uh, Japan, the UK, and... Uh, and, and uh, I called it, I think, part of Europe. I think it's Amsterdam, uh, Netherlands, Brussels... Uh, and some a couple of the countries, then then it's it's much better. Oh, all right, I'll acknowledge Jacarepaguá Tower. I'm sorry about that. This is São Conrado here. I once jumped from a from that rock right up there, uh, attached to a hang glider, and someone piloted the hang glider, thankfully, and then I landed over here. This is an IRL when I was uh, younger. This over here in front is Hosinha, the largest shanty town in South America. I've been there too. You can do, you can go on tours there. You know, a lot of people get afraid because they think it's, you know, there's just drug dealers and violence, but there's good people too. And uh, and it's actually technically safer to go uh, on a tour, on an organized tour here, than uh, in Copacabana because you know here is like uh, the. They keep the order there, the, the people in charge, and uh, excellent food, excellent views. 
And uh, here's another... Yeah, Brazil, Rio de Janeiro is really a, a city that shows you the, the contrast between the very rich and the very poor that exists in so many parts of the world, including in, uh, in Brazil. The wealth disparity it can be it's quite a stark contrast. You know, these big skyscrapers, and then you have like shanty towns right next to them. But um, Ipanema Beach, another famous uh, beach. We have the Cristo Hidden Tour, Christ the Redeemer statue that was given by you know the French. They they like giving away statues. They gave the Statue of Liberty to the Americans. They gave the Christ the Redeemer to to the Brazilians to put to look over the city over there. And this is Ipanema Beach, it's famous. Uh, oh, maybe it's is it in pa Ipanema or is it in Copacabana? The the landing zone. Maybe I made a mistake. Let's see. I think it's in Copacabana. It's in Copacabana. Okay, it's less than three miles from Ipanema. It's close by, you know. So this is Ipanema Beach here, and uh, we have to go land uh, by uh, Copacabana. I'm going to do a couple of low passes to scare the tourists and the locals and tell them, hey, get out of the beach because I have to land for this VIP here, you know. Uh, he might he might get his uh, watch stolen after he lands if he's wearing a, a Rolex. Hopefully he's not that dumb. But, uh, <laughs> most, you know, Brazil is like, and Houston is like any other place. It has its its problems and it, and it has its, the wonderful things about it too, so... Uh, I don't want to scare you. You should go to Brazil. You should visit. It is a wonder, very friendly people in general. All right, Morro do Leme up there. And that's where uh, there's the Pão de Açúcar, the sugar loaf, uh, uh, past it, just past it. And uh, some movies were filmed there. Uh, most famously, for me at least, uh, one of the James Bonds, Moonraker. There was a battle between 007 and the Jaws, the guy with like the the metal in his teeth, and he and he chews through. I mean, it's pretty dumb. You know, he chew, he chews through a cable, <laughs> but I, I like Roger Moore. Azu four zero six five out here at the beach. Frank Sinatra has met the woman. Yeah, though most people know Frank Sinatra, but that's actually an Antonio Carlos Jobim song. The original one is in Braz Portuguese, but Frank Sinatra liked it and and licensed it. And I think they he plays uh, they play together a couple of times. Okay, that's a jet. Yeah, Garota de Ipanema is the original girl from Ipanema. All right, but before we land there, uh, let's just go around uh, see if we. I don't think there's. It hasn't been a world pass here, so you're not going to see the cable car. This is a Sugarloaf Mountain. It's a famous cable car that goes in between there. Let's go back and. Uh, there's a Santos Dumont Airport, Luca GF taking off. Let's keep uh, the Neo Fly uh, open here, a Neo Pad open, and let's uh, let's take a look at uh, our current position and uh, in preparation for heading back uh, to land on Copacabana Beach to deliver this uh, VIP here. Matrog is flying with us, also in a BN2 Islander nearby. Whoa, and here comes, whoa, and it's going to be a close pass here, look at that. Azul 4146 in a jet. <laughs> He's flying low of that jet, he's having some fun. Yeah, now as I had mentioned before, amazing. Is a, a Tony Carlos has been a, a passionate about aviation, but was afraid of flying. He was terrified of flying. All right, let's try to land as close as possible to where we're supposed to land with this uh, VIP on board here. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look. Uh, where is it? Gonna put the flaps down already. He's probably going to some fancy hotel over here. Okay, this will do right around here. And the, I guess it's kind of a cloudy day. There's not even that many people on the beach, so. Uh, 
Oh, and I have to remember to update the landing rate reader board Shippa 1 twice. I won't forget. Okay. Nice landing. All right, nice. Enough. Send your parking brake on. Negative 162. Negative 140 according to... There's a bit of a discrepancy here. Leo Flight is in, thinks negative 162. Um, and... Uh, and what's it called? Uh, Sim Toolkit Pro thinks it's uh, negative 140. Not sure what's going on there, but... Uh, Nice bye bye. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's see. Uh, let's watch a Matrox landing. Transporter. All VIP are disembarked. You can take off. All right. We'll watch Matrox landing. If he's gonna come in. We'll pause track IR and let's. Uh, let's. Uh, this. Uh, I like this views when. Uh, when you can get like the telephoto lens. Uh, if you haven't watched this film, I recommend it. One of my favorite films. The English Patient. Great uh, cinematography uh, of airplanes in it, too. Oh, very nice touchdown there. Very nice flare. Keeping that front wheel up off the sand. Very nice. And applause from Matrox Landing, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent. In Copacabana, yeah, they really need to do a pass on this because uh, it looks, uh, it doesn't look, uh, oh, there you go, that's a nice view of the Pizza Hidden Tour back there. It doesn't look like, uh, you know, it doesn't in real life, but it's, it's the AI generated stuff, this one. So, um, what time is it, 12.23? All right. Hey, it's Lair T. How you doing? I think we should go raid Fabio now, okay? Because it's getting now. It's getting closer to lunchtime here. Uh, let's see if the flying Fabio is online. I'm going to steal his idea about uh, just uh, just turn it, just tuning in live here and seeing if he's online and checking out. Uh, and checking out his stream live while I'm in the, on my stream. And then jumping in there. <laughs> did you, did you want to watch? I'm going to be back in just an hour and a half this, for the 2 p.m. Slayer T. Not for anything good. Not for anything go down the list. Fabio doing pre-release. Oh, he's doing pre-release right now. Man, 447 views. He, he's on the top, right? Wow. What is it? DC-6 flight training, day one of learning PMDG's first Microsoft Flight Simulator aircraft. Let's, let's, let's go say hi to him. Okay, because he rated me yesterday, I want to I wanna at least rate him back today while I'm here. But I'm going to be back uh, at... Um, Alright. Raid just like the, whole short the line. flying Look, Fabio. This again. And uh, this time we're zoom in I show you that he thanks so much for your light. Thanks so much for dropping in. Thanks, Lair T. Shipa, I won't forget about uh, updating the. I'm gonna do it right now. Like your wins. So you have two wins on the landing rate. Um, I'll be back uh, about an hour and a half for some R2 Sturmovic action. All right. Maybe some more. Maybe some more. Uh, some more mics off. I think we'll see. All right. Have a great one, people rating now. Let's go say hi to the flying Fabio. So if you're on the dashed side, right? You can cross, meaning you landed, you're clearing the runway, you can cross over.